have an excellent show starting with the next stop. It's making fitness a lifestyle. Now, we know we try, but we always fail on that. But we got a great person here that's going to help us. And on Making Marriage Work, in our second hour, we have bringing a foster child within your marriage. So we want to get right to it because to see God's glory, we must share our backstory. Our first guest has been on here before, and she just wowed us. Her name is Miss Millicent Jeffries, bodybuilder and athlete. So welcome to the McCain train. Bring that mic on down, sweetie. Bring that on down for you could talk to us and stuff. Don't break it, you know. I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. Uh, it's good to be here. It's good to be here. Thank you. So, um... I want to, you know, I I, I got to talk to this woman because, you know, I don't want to make her feel bad because I know she's weak, you know, and she doesn't have any <laughs> muscles whatsoever. Mm, <laughs> mm, none. <laughs> so we're talking about making fitness a lifestyle. How, you know, it's, it, you know, they say that usually it takes like 21 days or 31 days for a lifestyle and all that stuff like that. And it sounds good, you know, Millicent, but how do we really make mentally, uh, you know, this a lifestyle? Because... I, you know, heck, I've been trying to make it a lifestyle for five years, and I still haven't been able to do it. So what are we, people like me, what are we doing and wrong me. that is not making this a lifestyle? First of all, you're neglecting to make it a priority. Yeah. She's going to come the, hard. That's all yeah, I'm going to, I told you, yeah. It's, it's, that's my girl. That's, how, that's what it's supposed it. to be. Um, <laughs> so you are neglecting to make it a priority. We are prioritizing a lot of materialistic things in our life. Um, how we look and our cars and um, how we dress. Yeah. But, but what about you physically? Yeah. That's my thing. So we're talking about making a lifestyle, and I, I, I'd be remiss of not saying, what are we trying to make a lifestyle? Talk a little bit about what you've done and, and what do you mean by making it a lifestyle? Well, give us a, you want to give us a backstory? Yeah, again? backstory. Just brief us the on the backstory. backstory again. Um, well, I've successfully lost 181 pounds. 181 actually. pounds. She lost a person. Pounds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah um, so I, I started at home with the smallest of things. Moving my body was the first thing. Uh, learning nutrition came a little bit later. Uh, denouncing what I was taught to do, which was to drink alcohol moderately, drink it socially. Um, just little changes like that. Denouncing flour, cornmeal. Those Friday night catfish fries. You remember them? Fr- yeah. Catfish fries and fries You heard me because I want some chicken and waffles uh-huh. now. Yeah. I totally <laughs> cut it out. Totally cut it out. It's plantation food. That's what it is. It's not healthy food. Yeah. How about that, right? Hey. When you say it like that, that won't make you want it. But yeah. I'm like, I see the chicken and waffles. Oh, no. Now, you know, we, we real here. You know there's some people out there, we's be plantation people. We still <laughs> wants that trash chicken. So, I mean, how do we get from that, that mindset, Millicent? Because, you know, we have people have cheat days. But cheat days, you're supposed to be a cheat day. People have mm-hmm. cheat days. And then when they cheat, it's like they cheat too much. And so to make something a lifestyle, how do I go from cutting all that down to substituting with something that's going to be just as enjoyable? Because a lot of times, if what I was eating is not better, or what I'm eating now is not better than what I was eating, somehow I go back to it. It's almost like, you know, uh, when I yes. tried to do good, evil was right. always present. Right. So how do, I, how do I change that? So the key word that you just said was substitute. Mm-hmm. That's one of the things I advocate. Um, what we, our, our palate has to be satisfied. I, for one, love the crunch of something. Uh-huh. So I, I, I substitute that crunch for a chip for the crunch of a rice cake. And then, I, yes, I saw it over there. I smelled the fat when I walked in here. chips away from I you. I did. Trip. I smelled the fat. I sure did. So um, when, you, when you have those healthier choices aligned in your house, uh, and you it, see those words, those vocabulary words, they, they hit our spirit, they hit our soul. So when you want to do better, you think better. So I think rice cake before I think chip, because what is that chip going to do, right? Add those it, extra pounds. Yeah, they're going to add those extra pounds. My heart is going to be tremendously unhealthy. I'm going to wake up that next morning feeling 10 pounds heavier. Okay, I, I, it's I, just I, it. I know you want to say, but I I just got to get back to my girl one more thing, and I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you talk. Mm-hmm. Melissa, I don't like rice cakes. 
I'm not going to eat that. You're not, not a rice, rice pudding. pudding. I can't. I'm not okay. going to eat that. So I'm like, so <laughs> how do I, you know, how do I make myself like it? Because, you know, I didn't like diet pop, but eventually I started drinking it. Absolutely. Do I have, do I have to try to train myself to like something like the that? The whole lifestyle, yeah. is, it, it is a training. Yeah. You have to. But see, one of the things that we've done is we have already been trained to eat improperly. Right. So let's revert and train yourself to eat properly. I like Your that. body I don't do know too. what you you telling it not to like it. Yeah, stop Let's telling it don't like time. it. How yeah, you know stop. you don't like it? Stop it. Stop how you it. know? <laughs> how, how, you, you learned how to like cornmeal, cornbread. Right. Yeah, that's you true. probably don't like it. Nah, well, because you know what? Right. I, when I first drank uh, diet pop, I couldn't stand it, but I kept on drinking it so I can stop drinking six uh, six things of uh, you know. Regular pop. Does diet pop? Because I'm not a pop drinker. Does that even work? Well, I mean, it was it took took away from the sugar, but basically, what I had to do is I had to train myself to do something different, and so okay. that's what I had to do. Okay, so one of the things about training the body is this: your your the body, the mind is one of the most powerful machines there is. Mm-hmm. It's going to download and do what you tell it to do. So sure. don't you confuse it. It knows mm-hmm. what it likes and its import anyway. So when your stomach begins to growl and feel uneasy, think about it. It doesn't like what you just imported. Yeah. It doesn't like to feel. Your digestive system should not feel full, solid. You should feel light. A lot. You, you are a light being. We should eat light, earthy foods, not wholesome. I mean, that's for the animals to eat, even if it's for them to eat, because I'm questioning that now. It, there are so many hormones in, in, in the meat. Are we feeding our animals unhealthy? So yeah, if we're we feeding them unhealthy and we're eating their food, what's going on with us? Yeah. And you then we what? have all of these different diseases that's forming. Have you ever, have you, uh, look at how many people are just, we're just dying. We're retiring and we're dying. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, um. Wait to retire and they dead within a year. Or yes. So. Why is that? Uh-huh. And especially with our race, too. Absolutely. Properly. But I'm going to start it off. How can you make exercise a habit? Because that seems like that's so hard. You, we get into bad habits. How yeah. can we make something this good a habit? You have to set realistic goals. Okay, realistically. Right, realistic goals. So uh-huh. if, I, if, I were, if I were a beginner, I would start a cardio regimen for seven days. And then I would exhale for 14. And then I would exhale for 27. And now I'm at 30 days. Mm. It's moderate steps. Moderate steps. So you're making your goals super easy for yes. you. To, okay. Yes. Yeah. I don't go in the gym trying to kill yourself. Yeah. And that's the, the thing that most people days. do. No. We go in, I could do this. No, yeah. you can't. No, you yeah. can't. Okay. So moderate let- goals. Start walking a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Let's Stay Together Talk. We're talking to Millicent Jeffries uh, on the air, talking about making uh, making fitness a lifestyle. Uh, Millicent, uh, it's it's great that we we try to work at that lifestyle, but let's talk about uh, making the decision to do it, and then what should we do when we fail? Because a lot of times people want to fail and give up. They don't fail you when they do it one time. Like I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Is it okay to fail and continue? Absolutely it is. Absolutely. We learn from failure. Yeah. And so a lot of times we're just like, you know, I tried this, but I, I didn't do it. Well, like you said, realistic goals. Realistic goals. You know, Absolutely. Allows you to sit there and say, you know, okay, well, I didn't do it this way, but I was able to do five. Let me stay with five until I can go up to six. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. That's, that is very important. That is very important. And setting your, your, um, your goals to fit your lifestyle. Yeah. And some people, you know, have a, you know, extremely difficult, you know, different lifestyles. Some people actually work 10 hours a day mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. not home, you know. <laughs> but he get in there and, running, you know, though. So, you know, how do you get that lifestyle? In? Is it, you know, if I'm real busy, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes people, you know, we're people, Millicent. Talk to me. And so, Talk to me and, and what? so we, we get to the point where we don't schedule things right. I don't have the time. Absolutely. You know, I'm trying to take care of the family. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. I don't have the time to make this a lifestyle. How do I make that time? Because right now, I don't want to get up in the morning. So what mm-hmm. do I do? I know it's mental, but help it me is. mentally to get to that step one. Okay. So um, what I would suggest is mentally you have to, you, you don't have the time. The family is a priority. You can't do all that without you. Yeah. So you have to, become, we're right back to you. You are a priority. So set that goal realistically. If you can't get up in the morning three times out the week, do it twice a week. But do it. 
the most important part is to do it. Set your intent, your fit intent. I intend to get up, and I intend to do my cardio. Yeah. If you can't do it first thing in the morning, do 20 jumping jacks before you go. In the heart pump and the cardio. Yes, okay. that is very important. Cardiovascular activity is the key to wellness. Okay, since your last visit, I have promised myself, and you could test to it, I've been on that treadmill. Okay. Seriously, I've been All on right that now. treadmill every day, but mm-hmm. I realized, okay, Rick, please. What? Tell no, me about it. I've been on that treadmill. I'm looking, your, your jeans look a little loose. I'm proud of that. See? I saw that. I saw that. Biggest, I've been on that treadmill. Bigger size, but go ahead, baby. Bigger size. <laughs> I can't I'm, stand him. She <laughs> said, wait a minute. She said, I can attest to it. I'm not there. I'm a preacher. I can't lie. I wasn't there. I just, Man. Know, I just know the truth. All I know. I think they need. I y'all. know it. <laughs> we do. We need counseling. We need counseling over we here. Them that's early, why, that's you know. why they coming for making marriage work. I work. Get but, it. You know. but I have. I have said after you've been on here, I was so impressed and inspired because yes. I did make you our um, superstar. I made yeah. a superstar, superstar like two weeks yes. after. Yes. But I have been on it. And I said I bought this dress to wear for an event. And I'm the type of lady, I'm honest, I don't like doing girdles. I'm like, I don't want to be yes. in a girdle in this because it's a fitted dress. Yes. And maybe it's me because I look at the younger women, they show guts on because I'm like, I yes. can't do that. I have an image here. So I said, like, if I can't wear it now, I'm going to wear that dress to my aunt's wedding in Mars. So I'm on this treadmill. Mm-hmm. Help me with that, that. I started off 30 minutes a day. But I'm like, Sounds okay, good. I'm getting used to this. How often should you change your routine? So typically uh, beginning, I would change, I would accelerate Every two weeks. Oh, every two weeks? Yes, okay. and I would change the entire program every four weeks. Every two weeks or so? Yes. Change so I would, if you're weeks. on the treadmill, I would increase my, my uh, incline and I would increase my speed. And I think I'm going to do that because I'm on a mission. And you know, I have to be honest. Uh, she, I mean, I can tell that she's been on the treadmill. It's been mm-hmm. down. You could tell that it's, I can you tell. Know, that it's moving and stuff like that. But uh, got to get rid of that gut. But I'm you know, it, it's you know, it, leave that chicken alone. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you know, it's a uh, you know, I could tell that she, you know, she ends working up out and stuff like that. Uh, okay. But for me, Alice and I, I've got to be honest. I, I don't get the chance to work out as much as I want to because my mind is constantly thinking about things with maybe the show and things that we're gonna do for the future. Where we're gonna go here? Where we're gonna go there? And so I'm one of those people that mentally, I make the mental excuse mm. that I have enough, so many things that is going. That by the time that it's for me to get on that treadmill, I'm mentally drained. Yeah. And I just can't get that into my lifestyle. And so I'm trying to figure out for the for the person like me that is is so busy and they get so many, you know, uh things that they're doing. Uh I know you said, you know, you just have to make it, but you know right. help me to see where I can make some time at, where I can maybe do it maybe just before I go to bed. Is it is it okay to do it before I go to bed? Absolutely, you know, I mean, absolutely. So- yes, yes. I would I would stress that throughout the day. Yeah. If you can't do it morning, uh, noon, or uh, get it in during the evening. Okay, absolutely, you- that would make a uh, that that would be a huge step for you. Yeah. Someone told me a long time ago, don't exercise closer to your bedtime. So, I mean, mm-hmm. does that keep you up if you exercise around that time? Like if we go to bed at 10 well, o'clock. Well, sometimes your adrenaline is uh, is working a little yeah. bit more through the night. But exercise really relaxes me and put me to sleep. Yeah, it does that really? for me too. Absolutely. Yeah. It does you that agree? for me too, yeah. Yeah, it relaxes yeah. you. Oh, it so, does. Right. Okay, maybe I should do the treadmill later. Yeah, you know. No, you do what you're doing. Oh, okay. yeah, because you're trying, <laughs> chicken alone. Yeah, because you're, you're actually you're already started something, so you don't want to okay. you know change the, the well, pattern. Let me tell, on can, if I can intercept here, we're, we're talking a lot about action. Yeah, from what I'm getting, um, fitness is not you. Anybody can go in the gym and do an act, can perform, but the most important, we want to make it a lifestyle, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the lifestyle is the key to longevity and wellness. So we need to make a commitment to ourselves. So you need to write a commitment to yourself. I like that. I commit to myself that I'm going to do two or three days of cardio. Listen, you may not be able to do it Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So commit to Sunday, Friday, and Tuesday. Make your goal realistic. Mm-hmm. Turn, off, turn off that. Let me tell you something. This show going to be here, but you may not. Ooh. Okay, there you go. Or get on the treadmill and watch the show. Yes. <laughs> get down there and do some sit-ups. Yeah. And then it's not so much about going into a place. I started in my basement. Mm-hmm. I went and, see, I, I didn't go into a building. It wasn't a building to me. It was my soul. 
it was what I wanted to do. It was it was the heart of it. The heart of it is I want to live. You got to want to live. Now, I'm going to ask you, next time I come on here, I'm going to ask you, what's your action towards living? Because I know what you're doing to make a, a name for yourself, your business. Mm-hmm. But give me some, give me something gritty. Give me some life. Give me some mm. force. Feed me. Because anybody can do this. Show me your courage. Your courage is to make fitness a lifestyle because one of two things going to happen. You're going to be fit or you're going to be a patient. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> she cut I me. Mean, and she, but she, I'm loving it. She is hitting like, there. Oh. I like that, you know. That's why Alice, That's why Millicent is on the show because uh, <laughs> I like real people. You know that. We got well. a caller. Who call it? I mean, we don't... How did somebody get the number? <laughs> Damn, Rick. Come on now. I, I did be, post I was going to be you know, working that. The phone so works. So we, we yeah. got, you got a caller on the line. So, because uh, we, we haven't had, you know, usually we don't have callers no, anymore because, no more. you know, because, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, because we don't, because <laughs> the callers will, you know, interrupt the show sometimes. But hey, we got a caller. Caller, you out there? Oh, you ran Hello? away. Hello? Oh, we scared I didn't ran away. the caller away. I'm sorry, <laughs> caller. Shame, Al working shame on Shame on preacher running away caller. Caller, are you there? Hello? Yep, Hello? 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 I'm here. Okay, when the caller, <laughs> caller come in for a it's second. Al Al so, broke it. So, you know, it, 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 you know you, you're absolutely right about that, Millicent. Hello? Hello, good evening. Hey, how you doing? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. I can hear you. Who's calling? Uh, this is our brother, Robert. This older brother. Ah. <laughs> Hey, Robert, family. how you doing? So, Robert, hey, I just, I just want to congratulate my sister on her, her journey. Uh, she's wonderful and uh, she's very dedicated. Yes, she is. So this is this is a lifestyle for her. Yeah. And I just want to say, uh, preacher, that I work for the railroad. I work twelve to sixteen hours a day. So she's always encouraged me to. Find time, whether it's in the morning, watching TV, or before I go to bed. So we have to make it a priority. So, and I, I just want to congratulate her, and she she she's she's a blessing to me. And you know, all the guys here at the job, they know that if I have problems, I'm gonna call my sister. All right. <laughs> so, you know, I, I love you, Vanessa, and keep up, and I will talk to you soon. All right. Well, hey, man, thank you very much for giving a call and uh, giving a shout-out to your uh, your sister here. I didn't know her name was Vanessa. That's my sister's name, too. I know. <laughs> okay, we all like, who's Vanessa? Ah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, we, uh, and we all get nicknames, too. <laughs> don't you? Ooh. Hey, don't, uh, don't say that nickname. What you got to say over there, Miller? Uh, quickly, what I wanted to say. Uh, but you know what? Thanks again, and you all be blessed. Wait, okay. don't go nowhere. She don't hey. want you to get off the phone. Hold on. A uh, Bobby. Ooh, yes. Bobby. What I wanted to uh, yes. say is I remember my first powerlifting competition. And I remember I called you. I pulled over into Peace Grocery Store, and I called you, and I said, um, I don't think I'll be able to lift that 336 pounds. And I, I remember that conversation. I remember you told me, you said, Vanessa, you go out there and you pick it up with all the heart that you have. Mm. I remember that. And when I got on the platform, I looked at that weight. I thought about my age. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, I'm 43 years old. What am I doing to myself? And I thought about you. And you told me to pick it up. And when I picked it up, I remember they had to scream at me to let it down. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, re- I remember sitting on the couch, yeah. picking up our DVDs and taking it to the next level. Yeah. <laughs> I thank you. So, I thank hey, you. I- I'm glad you and my sister. I'm blessed. And uh, today is actually our mother's birthday. So, you know, she's done a wonderful job. Amen. All right, Mama. Amen. Shout out. Happy well, right. birthday, Mama. Hey, all hey, right, you bro. all be blessed. I got to get back to work. <laughs> right, talk to you soon. All right, brother. Bye thank bye. you. Bye. Okay, All thank right you. To the, to, the, to the show right now. I appreciate that. Thank you very All right, much. Thank you. All right. Hey, that was awesome. Where and, my uh, brother at? Yeah, he yeah gonna, where my brother? Well, you know what? He's he gonna make me. He gonna make me start getting on the uh, treadmill myself because he that he busy like that. He, yeah, he can he do is. it. I know I can do it too. And so, he gets in the gym with you know, me. And he that, gets that's, in the gym that's with awesome. Me. So it's, you know, you can tell that you're an inspiration when you're. 
it's 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 wonderful when you inspire outsiders, but it's hard to inspire family. Sometimes yeah. family don't want to follow you Ooh, for nothing, boy. Yeah, and with me being little sister, he yeah. looks at me like, and I tell him, you know, I with him, I focus on um, strength training and resistance training uh, because his job is so strenuous. So uh, I have him pick uh, flipping sixty five pound tires. Yeah. I flip it and tell him, you better flip it back to me. <laughs> you better get it up. So, you know, he looking at me like, you little girl, you better go sit down. But he does it. Yeah. Wow. And it, it is awesome to find that you're, you know, your inspiration to uh, people like that. So uh, I want you to, you got something else you want to have, baby? Because I know you got a couple I of do, questions there. I do. Okay. Um, okay. Let's start with before you exercise. And if the, what type of foods should you put in your system before and after? See, that's a tough one. That's That's a tough one. Um, it's actually according to your fitness goal and your body type, things of that nature. Um, with me being a health coach, I, I, I work close with my clients. Uh, the consultation is made for that, your fitness and nutritional consultation, because I can't train you the way I would train him. You can't eat what he eats. I be trying. Right, you can't do it. Yeah. You can't do it. Your okay. metabolism is a little different than his. Right. Your act- activity level is different than his. So your 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 calorie intake has to complement your activity level. Okay. So you can lose that body fat. Yeah. You see I, what I got someone here that's saying to me. Uh, it says my inspiration is my eighty-seven year old father who gets on the treadmill every morning. If he can get make that kind of commitment, uh, we all can get up and do it. So um there's somebody else talking about the commitment that you're providing as well. So um Millicent, uh talk to me a little bit about um you know, we're talking about commitment, commitment, commitment to being mm-hmm. committed to it. Once I've made that uh commitment to do it, what do I do when I've made the commitment but I really don't know what I'm committing to. What what do I do? I know, I want to lose some weight. Do I have to know exactly what target weight that I'm losing? Do I have to do different exercises for maybe my legs, instead of my stomach? What? Do, how do I know? Good question. You know what Good I need question. to be working out and doing. Okay, uh, uh, let let's set the criteria here. Uh, first of all, we don't lose weight; we lose fat. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, cardio, cardiovascular activity is what we I call the controversial way to lose fat. Uh, I've incorporated weight training with my women. I've gotten more success with a constant strengthening and weight training regimen and less cardio for fat burning. That's my technique. Okay. Right? Right? So when you want to lose some, some body fat, you, the nutrition and your cardiovascular routine works hand in hand. So is it true you lose water weight first? On some in some cases, yes. We are what seventy seventy percent water, so you're gonna lose some salt. If I take out your uh your your donut, or if I take out your seasoning salt, out your diet for for fourteen days, you're gonna drop some sodium. Yeah. Oh, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's you know the thing about it, I mean I I I I know that I've been eating better because okay. now I you know most okay. of the times Brenda just makes me like a. Chicken breast and vegetables. So I, I eat that all the time. Okay. I, you know, I'm tired of eating it, but that's what I eat all the time. <laughs> but now I got to get the exercise, exercise yeah. part into so I can combine those two good things together yes. as one. Yes, So I you can have cut to. down the fat. Right. Uh, uh, Millicent, uh, I almost wanted to call her Vanessa. Uh, Millicent, <laughs> um, I need you to talk to somebody uh, right now and help them make the goal. I, I want to make it a lifestyle. Help me. Give me three steps on starting to make fitness my lifestyle. What can I do? Because you gotta got to look at it. we, we got to talk to people who may have been doing drugs, alcohol, eating, overeating. Uh, some people, you know, will sit there and think, you know, fitness means I'm going to be bulimic. How do I change my mindset now to say that I need to do a healthier way of, of, of living and I'm able to do that. Talk to someone there and help them three steps on what they should do. Start, middle, finish. How do they do that? Okay, first of all, the the you said you said drug addict, alcoholic. What else did you say? Uh you overeater. 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 Bulimic. That was me. Mm-hmm. That was me. So the first thing I did was I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, Well, what you're doing is not getting you anywhere. Um, let's do the opposite. When you go into that grocery store, the grocery store is designed for you to fail. 
It is. It is. It really is when you go in there hungry. It really uh-huh, is. it is. It is. Not so much as hungry. Uh, we are a visual people. We like pretty colors. Mm-hmm. We like things of that nature. Stay away from the checkout counter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All that chocolate. I'm not a chocolate. Right. Person. That's the first thing I do. I self-check I out. For a I take company, care of myself. So. Yeah. I check. Just, okay. When you know, go go in with a plan, mm-hmm. right? If you uh, if you're a meat eater, go in with your lean protein, okay? Right. So you know what you're gonna do when you go to the uh, the meat section, okay? Right. You don't make any detours. You don't have the opportunity to make a detour. Your detours don't work, <laughs> right? That's so you're gonna go and get you some healthy vegetables. Mm-hmm. Stay as green as you can. Stay as unprocessed as you can. Don't pick up a can. Don't do it at all. Yeah. We don't need no can. Start get a garden. Let's go back to where we were. Let's let's start back there. Let's do a garden. Yeah. If you can't do a garden, then go in and in, in your produce. Get all of your colors. Make your palate satisfy your palate. If you like, if you have a things for Lu, a Louisiana hot sauce, get some jalapeno peppers. Hmm. How about that? Yeah. Okay. That, 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 that hot right. will definitely help you lose yes. some weight. Yeah. The cayenne. Yeah. Cayenne peels. Right. Yeah. Okay. Most importantly, <laughs> this is the thing. Sometimes we don't have all the answers. We can't do it on our own. If you need a jump start, what I can suggest you do is contact me. And I'm about to go there. How do they contact oh, you? Oh, are you, you ready? Yes, I'm ready, honey. <laughs> okay. You know we ready for that. <laughs> okay. Um, I train at the fabulous Juggernaut Private Fitness Club. Rashadot and Billy Boston. Mr. Illinois and his wife are pioneers in the fitness arena. When I tell you seven consecutive wins, overall wins on stage, Mm. and these are African-American young people open their own gym and love fitness and love the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I have the, 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 the joy of training my clients there and myself. You can contact me at Juggernaut. I work on 142nd in Indiana and in Riverdale, 14216 Indiana. My private number is 773-297-6700. My email is millicentjeffries at yahoo.com. Okay. I am offering something, though. Okay, go ahead. For our listeners here, um, I would like to do a free consultation a fitness and nutritional consultation for anyone that is listening and want to uh, better their lifestyle coming from this arena, this sector right here. Um, my consultations, though, because you can lose weight just on a healthy nutrition, but combine that with some weight training, you'll win-win. Yeah. Plus, you don't want to sag that skin. You want to keep it tight. Right. So providing that you um, sign on with me for two to four sessions. Your consultation would be free. All right. So give them the information again on how they can get in contact you contact with you, honey. At Juggernaut Private Fitness Club, located one four two sixteen South Indiana, Riverdale, Illinois. My private number is seven seven three two nine seven six seven zero zero. My email is Millicent Jeffries at Yahoo dot com. And so, you know, Millicent is uh, like our fitness expert here that is working out with us and helping us out. And so Millicent's going to come back on our show again so we can talk about some other things. That Millicent, I'm going to ask you. I don't know why I'm cutting off here. Millicent, I'm going to ask you the next time. I want you to come up with a topic that you want to teach us on, to train us on, to help us with. And we want to talk about that topic because we need to hear from you what we need to hear, what we need to do. And so I want you the next time to tell us a topic that we need to talk about so we okay. can get ourselves to a point where fitness is our lifestyle. So one more time, given that information, how they can get in contact with you. Okay. Uh, 773-297-6700. And that is Juggernaut? Mm-hmm. No, that's my private number. Okay. That's your pri- oh, that's uh, a private number. That's my number. private okay. number. That's my sale number. Okay. Wow. She's going to work got, with she, some people. Yeah, she's going to work with some people there. And also, you'll probably get this information on our Facebook. you get it on our website. We'll have it everywhere that you can get in contact with us. Honey, is there anything else you want to say before we go? 
Mm, I want some more callers. I need some questions. Yeah. I got some <laughs> more questions. We just need to go to a commercial yeah, break. We get, we're, we're, we're out of time, too. So that's yeah. the oh, thing okay. about it. So you're going to stay here for a little bit for us, and we'll, we'll kind of talk about a couple okay. more things. But, uh, hey, baby, we're going to go to next. Uh, we are going to go to our point of view by Donald Terrell, and you do it, baby, with Chris Rock. Yeah, Chris Rock is an interpretation, not necessarily Chris Rock, so he doesn't sue the Let's Stay Together show. Right. Hey, so we're going to go to our commercial break. This is Reverend Rick McCain, along with my baby, my girl, my boo, Arthur Brenda McCain, Tracy Brown Howard, and Al. I know he's related to Rosie. Give my shout out to uh, Chris Bass and my boy Dion. Love you, man. Wish you was here. Talk to you soon. We'll be right back after these commercial breaks. 